So welcome to this new video of mine, The Secret of Manifestation. Now let us explore what is this manifestation. Let us explore the science of manifestation. So what is science of manifestation? So I am sure everyone here who is uh, watching this video has heard this poem. Your thoughts convert into words, words into action, action becomes your habits, Habit becomes your character and character charts your destiny. Now what this thought, what this whole thing tells me that our thoughts have the power to manifest something into reality. See, we started with thought and we came into destiny. So the science of manifestation talks about how your thoughts can really manifest something whatever you really want in your life. Okay. But is that so simple? It is. Okay, it is magical according to me. So let's go deeper into the science of manifestation. So there are various ways of manifesting things. Uh, we have the vision board. Many people must have heard about the vision board. You, whatever you want, you put it in a, a, a pictorial form because our, our memory is pictorial and we can easily manifest when things are pictorially depicted in front of you. And you put it in place where you can visualize it, see it. Visualization is one. Uh, another thing, then there are things like uh, uh, the law of affinity, the law, uh, the secret, uh, the law of attraction. So there are various ways of manifestation. If you are in this video, we are going to purely talk about affirmations. Affirmations is a very powerful way of bringing your thoughts into reality. So before we can go into affirmations, let us look at how our mind functions. There are two minds. One is the conscious mind and one is the unconscious mind. Now, uh, the function of the conscious mind is to uh, judge, evaluate. It will tell you what is right, what is wrong. It has been trained that way by society. So all the judging is done by your conscious mind. And uh, the subconscious mind or the unconscious mind, if I may call it, uh, does not just, it just acts. Uh, to give you an example of what I mean by that, see normally what happens is the conscious mind is right in front and the subconscious mind is behind. This is normal, normal way. But uh, I remember if you ha have you ever seen uh, hypnotism shows, I remember as a child in when I was in school, there used to be these great hypnotists used to come and they used to conduct shows. Recently, I haven't seen anybody, but I'm sure uh, you know what hypnotism is. So what happens in hypnotism is that the subconscious mind comes in front and the conscious mind is behind. Now the quality as I said about the, uh, the subconscious mind is to act. So whatever uh, command the hypnotist give, you will see people uh, doing that action or it is so powerful that if uh, he says that there is going to be a boil on the skin, I have seen that really happening. So that's the power that we want to harness uh, uh, in the use of uh, affirmations. Affirmations is something, uh, it is not hypnotism by the way. Okay, What I am teaching you is not hypnotism. I just give you an example of hypnotism to show you how the mind functions. Let me make it very clear that nobody can ever control you. There is a myth that people, hypnotists can control you. It is not true. But I am not going to go into that. That's not the purpose of this video. So let's not go into that. So whatever goes into your subconscious will happen. Okay. And this art of putting things into your subconscious. Now we don't have a direct access to subconscious mind, right? So we'll have to use this tool called affirmation to put things into our unconscious and thereby it will manifest in our life. So let us look at what is affirmation. Affirmation, I'll tell you a story. Okay. So there were these two Jain Munis who wanted to visit to their uh, guru. And he, the guru was staying far away. In between this journey, there, uh, there was a desert that they had to pass. Now, what happened in this particular thing is that they had to take a child across the desert uh, to the guru's place. Now, you, uh, most of you know what Jain Munis are, how they are programmed, how they are, like they can go without food, water for days, hours, some of them months, but they had to take a child. So they started the arduous journey to cross through the desert. The desert was hot, the sand was hot. A child is a child. He started asking for water, whatever 
whatever they carry it. Now they were thinking as Munis, how much ever water the child wants. They did not want any water. Very soon the water uh, got over. At some point of time in that journey, this child was now so thirsty, he became cranky and he started bawling. He sat down, he said, now I want water. I am not going to get up from here. A child is a child, okay. So, the Jain Munis were now at a question mark, do what? So, they tried digging up in one place and, you know, you, there is water in when you dig up. But somehow or the other, they couldn't do anything. Now, all this time, there was a fakir who was coming from across the, the, the other side. He was watching this whole event happening. So, he came to these Jain Munis and he asked what happened. And the Munis told that this is a child, he wants water. Now, we have exhausted all the... Uh, water that we were carrying. Now we have to search for water somewhere over here. So in this conversation, the Munis were very surprised that this Fakir had gone to their their Guru and he was coming back. He says, can I try? Uh, the Fakir said to the Munis, can I try? Uh, obviously, you can try. The child is bawling. We want to go uh, early to our Guru's place. So why don't you try? Okay. So he went to the same place where the Jain Munis had dug up and he muttered something and he put his hands below and he got water from there and he gave it to the child. The child's thirst was taken care of. Now, this was very surprising for the Munis, right? So, he says, what did you mutter? One of the Munis asked him, what did you mutter? He says, uh, I had been to this Guru. Now, interestingly, this Guru was the same person, these, these Jain Munis Guru and they were a little surprised. Like the human mind, Array, what did my Guru give this guy? What? What mantra did he give this guy that we couldn't find water over there and this guy who is a fakir who got this water from that, that same place. So, they were very inquisitive of what mantra did our Guru give you. They asked him, what is the mantra that they give you? Now, the fakir asked him, well, Naukar mantra. Now, guys, if you know a little bit of Jainism, I am not an expert in Jainism. Uh, uh, also, there is a disclaimer that this is not a religious, it's not about any Jainism or anything. This is just a metaphor and analogy to show you what an affirmation is. So, uh, everybody uh, coming back to the story, uh, Naukar mantra is the most common mantra in Jainism. Now, these Munis were a little surprised. Naukar mantra? How did Naukar mantra work for him? And we are so Jain Munis, we have been practicing this for so many. Well, the moral of the story is that this Fakir, had complete faith in the in the mantra that that uh, guru had given him and when you have complete faith in something then it manifests okay so it's just a story take it to get what an affirmation is we are going to go into the details of how to structure an affirmation so that we get the same result of course i am not going to tell you the secret of how to get water you dig dig a place and you'll get water all all the wells are made that way right so let's go now I hope you got the, the crux of the matter, what an affirmation is. All mantras are basically affirmation. So, let us go now look at the structure of an affirmation. The affirmation is using, you make an affirmation using only positive language. No negative language simply because your subconscious mind does not understand negative negativity. So, if you say, I don't want this, the don't is deleted and you will the opposite will happen. So, use only positive language. Secondly, it has to be in the present tense only. Very important. You can't write an affirmation say, I will be rich. Rich is in the future tense. Will be is in, in the future tense. The affirmation in that sense, sense will be, I am rich. The reason why I talk about this is the cosmos or the universe understands only the now. The, the universe understands only the now and hence the languaging should be in the present tense only, not future tense. Obviously not past tense. It's already gone and over. Right? So use present tense, I am rich. Every moment of this, I am becoming richer and richer and richer would be a better affirmation than I will be this or today, for, for, for today, I will be, uh, I will be positive minded. So, no will be, it will be already in the present tense. Getting the point? Next, uh, you have to have an emotional connect. It is not like you can just mutter something, I am rich, I am rich, I am rich, I am rich, I am rich. You have to have a powerful emotional connect with what you are talking. And that will come from your faith, from your belief. 
uh, this emotional connect will come. Without that emotional connection, it is impossible for any affirmation to manifest itself. And the fourth one is something which probably not many will say, no one has told you this. The importance of words. Now, Nikola Tesla is one great scientist who says that if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy and vibration. Words, my dear friends, are vibration. Okay. And you need to select words that vibrate with you. Okay. Without this connection, so when you are emotionally, you are connected to it, but yet you will find that your affirmation will not come to manifestation simply because you picked up words which may not vibrate with you. And how do I know that whether this word gels with me or not? I have a simple uh, a test which I have distinguished for myself. I call the solar plexus test. Now, it is called the gut feeling. Uh, with a little bit of practice, you will be able to use that in your life. Uh, if uh, the, the solar plexus test is something like that, like uh, if this particular, I, I write uh, a particular um, affirmation and I find that it is not really happening in my life. So I pick up, the, as I am writing it down, I write my affirmations, I don't just read them. I am saying that at, at the same time, I am saying that in my mind. Now each word is I am present in at my solar plexus to find out what is the, the kind of sensation that I get. If I get a, a, a tingly uh, sensation, an uncomfortable sensation, then that word is not really vibrating with me. I keep on changing the words till I am complete with the whole affirmation and I become one with the vibration. This is an important aspect of affirmations and this alone will help you understand the magic of affirmation. Remember, words are vibration. You have to pick up words which vibrate with you. Right? So this is the structure. When affirmations will not work, obviously if they are not structured as mentioned in the earlier slide. Secondly, if there is any amount of selfishness, the universe doesn't help you being selfish. Okay, standing up or asking for myself and selfishness are two different things. So be clear, you can't be selfish. And finally, if you have doubts, 0.001% doubt will kill everything. You must have complete faith and complete belief that this is science because it's vibration. It's not something uh, which is ambiguous. It's not magic. It's not delusional, illusional, nothing. It is pure science. So have no doubts about this, that this works. You will start seeing the results if you do affirmations in the perfect way. You will find the results in first seven days. You will notice the difference in yourself, right? That right. should have no doubts about it. Now, how do you use affirmation? So, reading, writing, speaking aloud your affirmations on a day to day basis. My rec personal recommendation I have an affirmation book. This is my affirmation book. I write them every single day, every single day, right? Now, the reason why I say that you should write is because that there is a direct connection between your fingers and your brain. So, whatever you write goes and recites directly into that and it goes faster into your unconscious. So, writing is more powerful than just reading and speaking. Of course, with so much of practice of 15, 16 years of affirmations, many times, uh, even speaking or reading them aloud will also help you, right? Have a 21 day plan. Now, why is this 21 day plan? It is saying psychologically it creates a habit, but let me give you a very powerful connection. Why 21 days plan? So, we have the mind, body and spirit continuum. Okay? Everything starts at the spirit level, then comes to the mental, emotional level and then comes to the physical level. There are seven energy centers in your body called chakras. 7 multiplied by 3. Each chakra must vibrate with the same frequency for any affirmation to manifest. So, 7 into 3, 21 days and that's why you must have a 21 day plan and a multiple of 21 days. If, if it doesn't work in 21 days, I'm sure it will work in 21 days. But to really bring that into full manifestation, maybe you'll have to continue for another 21 days. But a 21 days. Now you have understood the secret of why 21 days. Remember, mind, body, spirit continuum and three levels it has to manifest. 
initially take it to the madness level people must say that you are mad okay there was a time when my affirmations were everywhere in my toilet in my bedroom everywhere i could see them from every possible way when i used to walk i used to speak out loudly and make actions i'm sure early morning when i'm going for a walk people watching me must have said this guy is crazy how can he talk like that but anything that goes to the madness level will manifest so take it to the madness level while writing it you must repeat it in your mind and then use the solar plexus test which i said to find out which word vibrates with you each vibration if it is doesn't vibrate change the word till it starts vibrating with you that's a clear sign of it will slowly start manifesting the more affirmations the merrier i have 25 which i write every single day and i keep on changing these once that is manifested i keep on changing them use your body so there was a time when i used to walk i say there was an affirmation where it says i am a king and i used to make a fist like this and i used to when i'm walking i used to make this i am a king i mean use your body the body is a best tool to bring your emotions connection emotional connect can comes through your body your brain doesn't have any uh, feelings but where you will experience your emotion is in your body when your body feels that you are a king it is sure shot it is going to manifest so use your body while affirming and the most important thing which most people will not in the evening had a gratitude prayer what is a gratitude prayer thanking for all that is happening in your life everything the positive and the negative make sure that you have a gratitude prayer written down every single evening you you write down things that you want to thank either for the day or that is happening everything gratitude can change your manifestation uh, power like anything because if you don't thank the universe it's not going to come come and help you so this is a powerful tool that every evening have a gratitude prayer so i'm going to share a few uh, uh, my affirmations i use my body is a temple where i live and i really believe that my body is a temple and we are abusing the body left right and center and i treat my body like a temple i love taking care of my body and feeding it the right nutrition okay uh, there are times there were times in my life i've been a smoker drinker non veg eater i am not against anything today uh, because of this affirmation i've stopped drinking i've stopped smoking no uh, uh, non veg and to the extent no onions no garlic as well because i'm feeding it with the right nutrition okay as a, as and when now i can't give you the the impact of this but it has made a tremendous impact on my life i love taking care of my body i add massive value to the marketplace that i work in which is noticed well appreciated and handsomely rewarded by all stakeholders okay add value focus more on value than on numbers it will give you a great return on investment my transformation shows up on the faces of my near and dear ones now in this particular journey of your own transformation you can talk big but the real certificate is when you can your near and dear people will will vouch that this change has happened in you that's the only way that you can really really test yourself that whether that change has really happened within you or not affirmations are the way you want to change something about you for the benefit i have the most amazing wife in the world there was a time in my life where i felt that she was extremely dominating that's how i related to her and today she is the most amazing wife in my life there is no other person who can be as good as her in life i am spontaneous and generous in appreciation and it comes right from my heart i find good in everything now these are the few uh, uh, affirmations that i use you you can create your own if you need any guidance uh, in below the uh, this thing you can type it out i'll read those comments i can give you suggestions if you want thank you very much for listening to this i am telling you affirmations is a very powerful tool use it use it to the maximum it is magical and bring the changes that you want in your life and manifest everything that comes you want to manifest